Hölzerl, Gul, Palt, Al, Hul. Oh, Grall, And I'm Geralt. Pleased to meet you. Du Pulsel, Grall. I don't speak your language. Grall, your language I speak very well. Evidently. Let's talk. Kneel before lady. Speak easy. No kneel. Must be dagger man and battle. No speak. So I'm to pay tribute to the Lady of the Lake? And that. All right. What's Witcher in your language? Witch Malal Bull. Witch Malal? Witch Malal Bull. Bull must be. No, Bull means idiot. <laughs> All right, then I'm Witch Malal Bull. <laughs> yes, so you be. <laughs> Farewell. Welcome, warrior. Greetings. If not for my woes, I'd rejoice in a swim with you. What concerns you? Let's talk. You mentioned woes. Terrible indeed. I lost my turquoise necklace as I swam in moonlight, a gift from the Lady of the Lake. Where did you swim? I usually bathe in the lake, yet that night I dared the river near the village. Sadly, the drowners abide there, led by Zephyr. Who's Zephyr? Once one of Vizima's most famous thieves. He moved as quietly as the wind, and quite handsome. And now? He once escaped to the sewers, but his loot proved too heavy. He joined the drowned dead, but old habits rarely die as easily. He still steals? Of course. Doubtless he stole my necklace. 
The drowners ever protect him. I'll search for your necklace. How wonderful! I have no gold with which to pay. But perhaps some trinkets could prove useful. It's a deal, then. I shall await you at the end of the beach, in an enchanting lagoon. How do I find Zephyr? If you slay enough drowners, he'll appear to discover the problem. Remember, drowners only venture out at night. Where do I find the drowners protecting Zephyr? They gather at night here on the shore. If you borrow a boat, you may reach the island where you'll find others. Some linger near the village. Who are you? A naiad. A water nymph. I serve the Lady of the Lake. Farewell.
Greetings. You're the Fisher King, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I have a professional interest in the area. You see, I'm a witcher. Any monsters in the lake? Hmm. Amphis Benas? Dragonflies? Water creepers? No. Hmm. I see. The lake's safe. While we're talking. Mm hmm. The mirage of a beautiful city appeared by the lake. Mm hmm. The city might be submerged, am I right? Mm hmm. Inhabited by the Vodianoi? Mm hmm. They get along with humans? Mm hmm. I handled something similar once. I can help. Mm hmm. So I guess I should talk to representatives of both communities. <sighs> Later. When will we stop fleeing?
Fisher King for permission. your boat? Mm -hmm. Take care.
Geralt. Dandelion. How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me too. It was amazing. I always wanted to see what it's like. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport you here? Let's say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place. In prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh, hmm. Dandelion. Something specific? Well, there's going to be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there are the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes, unless he has a twin. Dandelion. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who'll get my spirits up.
Let's talk. I have your necklace. Splendid. Now your reward. I'll grant you a book on the Vodianoi. The Earth Rune, or I'll treat your wounds whenever you need. like to be your lifelong patient. I knew you would choose so. Always, when you come to me, I shall tend to your wounds. Thank you. Take this token as a memento. The amulet will protect you from drowners. Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see another cow like this, and... She is impressive. Look at that glistening coat. Her tail and that udder. Mm-hmm. We plan to mate her with a champion bull from Bullsville. Hmm. That'll be something. A stock known round the world. No doubt. Ah, uh, our strawberry is so beautiful. Later. Good morning. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? Not exactly. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful, big eyes. Mm-hmm. Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé? And perhaps see if my sister Selena can be found anywhere. Your fiancé spending time at the inn? We're not speaking. He's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. 
He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Malatella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. Geralt, I have a new home. It's nicer than Vizima was. It's just that I missed you. You like it here? I do! Are we gonna kill monsters together? Alvin, fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise! There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play kill the elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk later. Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. Yes? Any elves around? They camp nearby, but look like nothing from epic poetry. Ill and starving. Many have perished. Are they peaceful? Entirely. Mr. Tobias sought to help them, but the she-elf leader refused human charity. Typical elves. Farewell. Good morning, Witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. 
May I ask a question? Yes. Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Oh, how I hate that nymphette! Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant, while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian? Not, woe, I suffer for the masses, Adam. How pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg! Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her! She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. I have the ring. Show me. It must be more beautiful than Alina's engagement ring. That's the ring. So be it. I'll show Alina I can have any man. But... Kiss me. All right. Carol, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Oh yeah, I have a dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know, something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Shani, hand it over.
Yes. What a day. Mother sacks dwarf cock. Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a Witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather, may Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land. A piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped. But soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of bobolac scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow, and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley, and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him, and knew that sooner or later someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract. They became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. I wanted to ask about Alvin. He needs a caretaker who is knowledgeable about magic. And neither I nor my future spouse are suited to be his guardian. I see. You should train him to be a witcher. You know not what you ask. For the time being, I'll keep an eye on him. Geralt? What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. Farewell. Welcome to my inn, Traveller. Greetings. 
If you're weary, rest. If you wish food or drink, call my daughter. I will. Make yourself at home. Thanks. May I help you? Got any rooms? Five orans. 